Thanks for joining me today. We're going to do a sample practice round for brain retraining, and this is based off of many of the different brain retraining programs. Um, and so it's incorporating elements of neurolinguistic programming, cognitive behavior therapy, positive psychology, and self-talk. So we're just going to use a script that I would use in a typical brain retraining session that I would do myself. And you can feel free to use a similar script yourself, listen to this, or use it as a template to create your own script. So we'll start by just sitting up nice and tall, closing our eyes, and just taking some deep breaths. Let's ground ourselves in the present moment, just establishing a sense of peace and safety. Feeling nice and secure here in the moment. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. We can keep our eyes closed if it's comfortable or open them if we want to engage in some journaling or drawing during our rounds. So first we'll take a moment if we're having any sort of symptoms just to tell ourselves it's okay to stop this overreaction of our nervous system. We'll take a step back and we'll look at our brain and our mind and our body as working together but having distinct and separate parts. So let's take a moment and say limbic system, it's okay to take a break, it's okay to rest. You are overreacting to these stimuli that are not harmful. But I understand that you're reacting this way because of trauma. You're reacting this way because in the past we did have experiences that we had to react in this way to protect ourselves, but now we keep falling into that same pattern over and over and it's not helping anymore, it's actually hurting. So I give myself permission, I give my nervous system and my limbic system permission to stop and to calm down and to take a rest. We might wanna envision here our limbic system like someone at the control room that sets the alarm off when something goes wrong and telling that person, turn that alarm off, everything is safe. We can rest, go take a break. There's nothing else to be hypervigilant about. Deep breath and calm down. We are safe. But at the same time, thank you, body, mind, brain, spirit, for working so hard to protect me. I know that you've worked so hard. We've put so much effort into this, into trying to feel safe and protect ourselves and figure out symptoms, but we don't have to do that right now. We are working on healing. And we are at a place that we are healing every single day. And that healing energy is coming to us. We don't have to strive for it anymore. So again, take a breath and sit back. Relax. Nervous system. You can turn from fight or flight mode over into rest and digest. You can enjoy life again. Take some time. Think about what it will feel like when you are completely healed because we are getting there every day one step at a time and we are going to put ourselves into that state right now so again maybe closing our eyes and envisioning a time and a place where we are totally healthy and healed and so for today we're going to use the example of walking down the beach so we're on a beautiful vacation because our symptoms have calmed down our nervous system reaction to these stimuli has calmed down. So we were able to take that car ride or that airplane ride. We were able to get to the beach and stay in a hotel. And we are there and we are walking on the beach and we're not thinking of symptoms. We're thinking about the feeling of the sand on our toes, dipping our toes in the water, listening to the waves crashing on the shore, feeling energized, I feel vibrant, I feel grateful, I feel calm. I know that I have the energy to do anything that I want to do on this vacation that I'm envisioning happening. I look ahead at the beach and I know that I want to just run down the beach to the very end and watch the sunrise. And then I know I'll be fine to come back because my body is healed and it can do anything that I need it to do. And I smell these beautiful smells all around me, different tropical smells or the smell of the sand and the salt maybe the smell of sunscreen and none of it's bothering me because my nervous system is healed so it does not interpret any of these stimuli as dangerous. It only takes things in and is able to address them for what they are, which is neutral stimuli, because I am healed in such a way 
that I feel healthy and my limbic system, my amygdala no longer overreacts to any stimuli. I can move as much as I want. I can eat whatever I want. I can be around the sights and smells and sensations and bright lights and noises and none of it bothers me because I feel so inherently intrinsically safe that I am just so relaxed in this vacation mode in this visualization. So take a few moments and just really be in that moment. Maybe close your eyes and again, just visualize and feel the sensation, walking one foot in front of the other, grounding in the sand, hearing the waves, smelling the ocean, feeling the sunlight and the breeze on your face, listening to the sounds around you. And then realizing I am healing, I am getting there. Everything that I need, I can work on within myself, healing my brain, healing my nervous system, and whatever else I'm doing that is working on healing my body and my symptoms, I will get to this place with complete and utter certainty and confidence I'm getting there every day. Deep breath in, deep breath out with our hands to our heart center. Just taking a moment to set that intention that I am healing, I am safe, I am loved, I am peace. Thank you guys for joining me. This is just such a short little example of these practice rounds that are talked about so often in brain retraining programs. And if you do these three, four, five times a day, just in little five or 10 minute increments, and you visualize and you feel into that positive psychology of what it will be like when you're healing, you're creating new neuronal pathways in your brain. You're telling your amygdala and your hippocampus, it's okay, you can calm down putting new memories that aren't even fully formed yet. Our brain doesn't know the difference if they're real or fake. So if we can create these core memories and store them in the hippocampus and we know that we're safe and we can do these things, then the amygdala no longer interprets a lot of these as stress responses and, and fear responses. So over time, this will help us along our healing journey. And again, this doesn't replace the fact that there's real medical things maybe going on. And so consult with your doctor or your naturopath, do whatever you need to do. But at the same time, we know that if we don't address the psychology behind it, that's where people, certain people get stuck in the chronic illness cycle for years and years. And certain people are able to have these illnesses and these setbacks and these traumas and heal perfectly. And so much of it is resilience, nervous system, trauma, and the way that our brain has wired ourselves and our limbic system to respond and to respond in a very physical way because our brain and our body are linked so closely together. So if we start working on these every day and do something very similar to this, or if you get, you know, DNRS or Gupta program or ANS Rewire or, you know, Primal Trust, any of these brain retraining programs, most of them I'm pretty sure have very similar scripting that go along with them. And there's a lot more, there's so much more brain science and there's value to those programs. So definitely, you know, find one, buy one, do whatever works for you, but do the scripting every day. Put yourself in these mindfulness positions where you can work on these and then once you know you can do this you can do so much more so i wish you so much luck on your journey to healing and wellness this week and thank you so much for being here have a great one